Hey YouTube watchers, the Raspberry Pi hackers, it's Chris here. I wanted to uh, shoot a quick video here about my, my boat setup and uh, in particularly the Raspberry Pi project that I built. Um, this is my boat here, it's a new boat actually, I'm real happy with it. But the really cool thing about it here is, is I built this uh, I built this GPS nav unit out of a Raspberry Pi and a Raspberry Pi display and Adafruit GPS mo ultimate GPS module and put it in a nice box. So I'm gonna turn it on. It has a MoPower UPS inside of it too. Let her boot up here. And I'll show you a few features that a few interesting features about it. Alright, I have a little splash screen there. Now this unit itself is uh, I've been I've designed it so that I can uh, import in topo maps provided by uh, Indiana Department of Natural Resources on a few of the lakes that I fish, and I've integrated in some set some waypoints and you know places where I catch fish and or and I have set hazards too where it'll put a little mark on the display where there might be a stump. And I have two temperature sensors. One will measure the water temperature and one will measure the air temperature. I've got an Adafruit BMP 180 module on here that will measure temperature, but I, I ignore that temperature, but I measures the barometric pressure. I got a little uh, RTC clock module plugged into there as well. And uh, so here's Worcester Lake and right now I'm not on the lake so the longitude I don't have a lock yet because I'm in the garage GPS usually won't lock when I'm in the garage um, but when I'm on the lake it'll put a little red dot wherever I am and I was very surprised how accurate it was you know I move around and uh, shows me where I am on the lake and uh, and actually it's pretty accurate too. It's, I got a uh, my Humminbird Helix 7Di over there. It shows me the depths and it's pretty much right on. Another interesting feature, I have a configuration page. I have uh, the ability to uh, switch maps now. I got a, If you want to switch to a different lake you just select a different lake and I also have the ability to uh, control my my uh, live well control which I made cooler and I got one of those little pumps to uh, oxygenate the water and uh, the Raspberry Pi controls that with a relay module I put inside so instead of it running continuously I have it you can program the interval and the duration to which it turns on and off at to kind of conserve some battery power and uh, it just you know it does help if the water it doesn't need to run continuous to keep the fish alive I've had 15, 10, 12, 15 fish in that cooler, all happy as could be. And uh, over here I got, if, I, if I'm on a lake and I need to tweak some of the map geometry, the algorithm in there that converts the GPS coordinates to X and Y Cartesian coordinates from like a capture from Google Earth, you need to know longitude left and right and longitude latitude bottom and then the map size and pixels. You can tweak 
the longitude values and the latitude values if you're off a little bit you know you I capture the map as an image and usually it's from the DNR website it's a PDF file that's the topo map of the lake and then I then I go to Google Earth and I find those those uh, coordinates as best I can from features that are common within both pictures you know a lot of times you don't have something that's common so you have to guess and so I can tweak them here and then I have a keypad if I'm on the lake I can I can tweak those values but so far they're pretty damn close and then I can turn the pump off and then over here I got the geek stuff you know I'm, I'm showing the uh, you know what what the the Raspberry this is a Raspberry Pi 3 in here and how much it's running and you know how much it's in turbo it's one point gig I I tried to overclock this one a little bit but it tends to hang if I overclock it too high shows me my temp shows me my battery voltage from my uh, from my battery down there and then I got my my Minn Kota 55 pounds of thrust trolling motor pushed me along and I built a nice mount here Scotty products are really nice and uh, you know, just there's my about screen and, and by God now if I want to change the lake I want to change the north. I want to charge to change to uh, Pleasant Lake. So then you have to reboot the. Uh, you, I'm going to fix that. You have to restart the program. So now in the background here, you see. Oh, I didn't. I didn't save it. You got to hit save. Pleasant Lake. Save. Exit. That's the program. Starter back up. I've been having trouble with the touch screen sensitivity. Been fiddling with that a little bit. Now here's Pleasant Lakes Topo Map. And etc. And I have the ability to do a to capture a log, like a trip log, and like every I think it's every ten minutes it captures all the data it can. And I was thinking about putting a uh, a playback function at a later date, but anyway, here's my uh, my project, and it suits my needs, you know, because I I fish these small lakes, you know, and then these, you know, there are some commercially available chart nav computers available, but they don't have any of the lakes that I fish. And the one thing that I did learn today is I think some of the higher end Humminbird and other products from the other sonar makers on the market, they have an ability to map a lake for you where it will it will capture depths as you motorboat around the lake and build a build a topo map for you. But you know, but I'm primarily just interested in if 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 I have a a spot on a a lake on the lakes that I fish, you know, that's that I'm producing and that's producing fish. I can mark it, put a waypoint there, and you know, and it's the nerd in me too. You know, I want to have. I, I'm a software engineer by by trade, and I do some electrical engineering as well. And and it's kind of a fun little project that I I always wanted to have a uh, a Raspberry Pi in my boat, and so this is what I came up with. Let me get you a shot of my my rig here. I it's it's a uh, a Yamaha G3 1436 John. There's the back end. It's like Command Central in the back, but there she is. I love fishing in her. Me and my buddy, we go all the time. So, thanks for watching.